Hi Scorpio, morning me. Let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for the sign of Scorpio. First card, the Queen of Pentacles. Second card, the Page of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hanged Man. The Nine of Swords. And the Star card. This is very powerful. Um, I think there was only one other sign that had these in the same reading that had the star card and the wheel of fortune also in the same reading. So this is quite powerful here, Scorpio. I forget which sign though, so bear with me. But let's start off with the queen of pentacles. This is earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Physical manifestations come to fruition here for you. This is money, abundance, finance, wealth. Financial healing is happening for a lot of you, it's especially with the wheel of fortune here. This is a wheel um, that brings prosperity, abundance, and this is beautiful that's coming in here for you, which is absolutely wonderful to see. You're uncertain about it now Scorpio but you don't see that there is financial healing or there's an asset that is coming to you it could be a luxurious asset it could be something that's quite costly a home an investment stocks bonds property luxurious items um, or some something of value um, is what I'm seeing here it's also earth sign um, energy here so for some of you if this is in regards to a relationship there's wonderful things evolving here with an earth sign again you don't see it coming but this person is capable of offering you a beautiful future, he's Scorpio. So I wonder if you're going to give them a chance because I see right now it's all a waiting game for you. Um, and maybe you still need to give it time because the Wheel of Fortune it reminds me of a clock here. So I'm not sure if time still needs to be given to this Earth sign here. Either they need more time or you need more time. Um, you also have an Aquarius here as well. So maybe you need to be, um, you need to have more time to get to know each other. Um, you know, Aquarian energy is inquisitive and it's knowledgeable and it's wise. So I think maybe some of this needs to happen. So it's all it's all a, a learning curve right now up, up, up to this point here, Scorpio. So I think you need to exercise some patience. But for some of you, I see you holding a salary, money or wealth um, in your hands during this month. So that's very nice to see with the Queen of Pentacles. Moving on to the next card, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords energy is a lack of mentality here, like a lack of direction when it comes to thinking about a certain situation. Now, for some of you dealing with an air sign, because in this column you can see there is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, in particular the sign of Aquarius. With the Page of Swords, this sort of energy around you here, Scorpio, it really speaks volumes of the mentality that you have right now or the mentality around someone that you're dealing with directly. You know... I think in one way, you're not ready to accept something here. I think you're not ready to face that this person or this opportunity is destined to be in your path. And I almost feel like you're not ready to face it here. And I know this is a stark contradiction from last month. I think you had a very powerful month. Um, you know, you gain that clarity and you know what you want. And I think now an opportunity will present itself to you. But for some of you, I feel as though you're... you're, you're um, you have a lack of clarity about this situation here because I feel like for some it could be that you're looking to the past in particular an earth sign that is coming in for you I feel like you might be looking to a past business venture um, you've been waiting to see the growth I feel like you're you're hesitant to move forward with a situation here and maybe the best thing to do right now is to wait it out because maybe you're not in the best mental space right now or maybe you don't know enough to go, to make a decision or you don't know enough about this person yet, or you don't know enough about a certain job opportunity or a business venture or a potential relocation or investing in a um, in whatever it is that you're investing. You don't know enough to move forward yet is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. So give it time to flourish. Give it time because you need to move out of this un uncertainty here with the sword's energy. But I do feel those that are dealing with an air sign, either in career or in relationships, I feel like there's an air sign that's showing a little bit of withdrawal, a little bit of hesitation, um, a lack of certainty, a lack of clarity. But I do think this person will come around because there's resolution, hearing, and an outpour of emotion. This is the water bearer. So this is cleansing and emotion that needs to happen. So maybe still some further cleansing needs to happen on your end. You do rule over water, and although Aquarius is an mutable, air fixed air sign he is the water bearer so I do feel there's cleansing that may need to happen for some of you in this sort of situation here moving on you've got the beautiful wheel of fortune here Scorpio this is so excited faded opportunities destiny things turning in your favor again something to do with the time the hands of time um I feel like you just need a month where you're just on your own um maybe you're withdrawing 
I feel like you might be a little bit introverted this month um, and maybe just really be craving time alone to think or analyze or restructure yourself and that's okay because I do see things improving in a very, very good sense, especially, you know, look at this column here, the Wheel of Fortune with the Star card. This is quite powerful here, Scorpio, and I do think marvelous things are coming to you. This is increased prosperity. I do see that some of you will be making money because of the job that you're doing or the industry that you'll be um, entering into. You know, the Star card is about reputable companies, very well-known companies, um, companies that are in the public eye a lot through the media, through film, through the news, um, or because of their prominence, you know, their domination in, in that sort of field or something like this. So an upward cycle begins. I'm not necessarily seeing a new opportunity, but I'm seeing that there's increased opportunities that may come to you and although things might be behind the scenes for now during this month that doesn't mean that they can't come to fruition because they absolutely can i do believe there's faded things happening around you here um, buying this item having this person feel introverted right now having some sort of disconnection maybe it's all meant to be there's the notion of time i feel like you know, you need to go through this cycle. It needs to happen here, Scorpio. Whether you're wanting it to happen or not, I feel as though it needs to happen, whatever this is that's happening around you. Some of you are being sent an earth sign. Um, some of you are being sent an opportunity that you're not sure, you're not ready to accept as yet, and that's okay. Maybe there's, you know, this emphasis on time that needs to happen here. But it is an upward cycle, so it can bring you... Um, in a, in a very improved situation in terms of love, in terms of career, in terms of personal life, personal interests, or anything of that sort here. Because you do have the hanged man. The hanged man is introverted energy. Um, possibly misunderstandings here with the hanged man. I almost feel like you, someone's hanging out on a limb here. So I'm not sure if this is you, Scorpio, or someone you're dealing with. I feel like someone needs time away or you need time apart, time to heal. Time to think, time to appreciate, something about time, um, introversion, feeling upside down, feeling like you're a little bit out of it here, and that's okay because eventually you will come back around, but for the time being, I think you're going through this sort of period. I also feel like the hangman here in a situation here, you're held in suspense. So some of you are waiting for something, waiting for redemption, waiting for healing, waiting for an opportunity to be in the public eye. Waiting to communicate with someone online or waiting to hear from them online or through online mediums, messaging, internet, um, some sort of online correspondence maybe. And I feel like you're waiting around for them. So it's sort of a bit of a cool, cooling off period for some of you. You're being held in suspense and I feel for some of you you're anticipating a lot. Um, you know, there's nervous energy with the Eight of Swords, so I'm not sure if some of you are exhibiting nervous energy because you're waiting around for something or someone. For some, you're looking back to the past. Are you waiting for the past, here, Scorpio? Are you waiting to, to get closure from the past? Or are you waiting for a, a past business opportunity or something that failed, something that didn't go according to plan, and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're looking back on it, you're reflecting on it? You know, there, there is this sort of notion of being held in suspense. So I think for some of you, there's this sort of energy is coming up around you. Again, it won't apply to everyone, only some or maybe no one, but it might resonate in little bits and pieces and little dribs and drabs. The Nine of Swords energy, in particular, if you are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I do think this person right now is blinded. Um, they're not ready to move forward with a decision. Now, again, this could be any sign that you're dealing with, but there is someone around you that's not communicating directly, um, is closing themselves off to feeling, to thought or expression, and I think they're just not ready, so you're going to have to wait. It's a bit of a waiting game here, Scorpio, and I can see that you'll be um, a little bit edgy because of it, but ultimately the last card that you have come up here is the star card. So ultimately this is alignment, this is the things coming to fruition. You know, there's an outpour, the water bearer. So there's a cleansing. So there's some sort of ritual, some sort of um, healing, 
um, some sort of cleansing, some sort of self-exploration or um, admittance or confession or an outpour of emotion or an outpour of someone's real thoughts will come out towards the end of the month. But I feel like you'll have to go through this energy first. So someone's not ready to move forward just yet. They're sort of, um, sort of frozen in time. Again, that notion of time and that person is either immersed themselves in the past or what you've had previously. But I also feel like for some of you, there's a really bright star. So I think there's some source of inspiration that's coming to you here, Scorpio. Now, for some creatively or career-wise, if you felt there's been a block, if you felt you haven't been... Um, haven't had some sort of inspired thought or idea in quite some time. This is a stark contrast to go from the Nine of Swords to the Star. And I really do feel something is going to be a source of inspiration for you. And it could come from creative or artistic pursuits. It could come through media. It could come through, through film, through movies, through books, through publications. Um, because I do think there's a source of inspiration here, but you're going to have to wait. I feel like it might come towards the end of the month. Now, for some, it's a source of inspiration on how to improve your relationship or what you can do to approach the person you're interested in. Uh, for some, it's an, a source of inspiration of how to deal or how to heal with an existing relationship that may be encountering some sort of hurdles at the moment. For others, this is in career and creative pursuits. And if you felt like there's an idea that's, that hasn't been growing, because you haven't had the time to commit to it, you know, you've been a little bit imbalanced in thoughts, you haven't been in that creative space, this is about to change, but I feel it's going to come towards the end of the month. It is a powerful month, so there is revolution, there is, um, you know, absolute thought, there is inspiration, there is healing, there is cleansing of some kind that will occur on some level for a lot of you out there watching this. So the good thing is, is there, there is light at the end of the tunnel because you have the star card and then the hangman has this epiphany, this realization, this, this thought, this inspired um, occurrence, this, uh, you know, it's almost like the veil gets lifted off and look what sits in between these two cards. It is the nine of swords. So it is lifting that veil and is seeing or understanding or really appreciating what's around you because you're able to see you're able to see everything in all its beauty in all its in all its glory in all in all its realness with all its flaws imperfections strengths weaknesses and opportunities it's seeing something or someone for who they really are and then once you're equipped with this information you can go forward but i still feel you still have so much more to learn and it all oops, sorry it all goes back to the message of you don't know enough yet um you're still learning you're still absorbing and you need to give that time because you have just this amazing ability to really feel things through scorpio so use that intuition to your ability you're naturally gifted in this way and I think some of you need time. You need there needs to be patience because I feel emotionally you feel things, but mentally I think you need to work on your mental alignment here um, and your communication with the people or this opportunity or a boss or whoever it is or whatever it is that's happening around you to really come into your power and and enjoy this column here. But you need to go through these before you end up with the star and the wheel of fortune. Something about divine timing. You know this is fate. Fate controls a lot here for you. And I think what you're going to learn and what you're going to take from this month is going to impact your destiny or your decision, your decision about a future relationship, your decision about moving, your decision about starting a new career, your decision about um, cleansing yourself of negative people, removing yourself from people that have caused you pain or grief. So I do think it's going to impact beyond uh, of the intentions of other people. We'll now throw out six more cards for love, romance, and relationships. Okay, the first one has already come out, Ace of Wands, um, and see what else comes up. Actually, you know what? I wanted to take that one out. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. The Moon card, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Okay, what I love is that there's new starts and new beginnings for some of you. There's actually an, an air sign coming in. This is the hand of God, the universe, offering you an air sign and a fire sign here. Um, 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the air sign and also the Ace of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius or Leo coming through for some of you. Ace of Wands is action, control and movement, taking initiative, taking reign of a relationship. What I like is that there's action going on. It's really taking the wand in your hand here and controlling this relationship, controlling the direction of where a relationship is going. I do believe that someone is coming in under a fire sign very, very strongly here for you. This person has shown up in three of the cards here. I do believe this is someone coming in that you're going to feel very drawn to, very attracted to. This could be someone younger or someone quite youthful. I feel like this person is very ambitious, they're very driven, quite relentless. I feel like it's destined. What's interesting is that you've got two destiny cards, the star card and the wheel of fortune, and you've got two aces here. So I'm wondering if some of you have rebirths in love or new people, two new people coming in together. Um, I feel like separately, they're coming in separately. I don't think you know these people yet. They're not affiliated in any way, um, but they are coming from a higher power. You can see, you know, the clouds, the clouds part and the hands come out. So I feel like they're both destined to be in your path. Whichever person you choose um, is, of course, up to you. He's Scorpio, but I do see that you, some of you definitely have options in love. Some of you Scorpios that are single and looking, you definitely won't have a shortage of opportunities because the cards indicate that there is wonderful opportunities coming up. Um, what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Cups, unless you're dealing with a Cancer or someone around you that's heavily ruled by Cancer, um, cancer element, or by water, so it could be a Scorpio um, or a Pisces as well. What I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups and the Moon card is that there's emo emotional upheaval coming from you. Now, I'm going to draw back to the message here that you don't know enough yet to make a solid choice or make a solid decision. I feel like things need to get a little bit more heightened or things, um, trials or tribulations or those intense conversations need to take place because this is the only way you'll know if you're willing, if you're wanting to offer your cup to this person. Because if this, if you're not dealing with a cancer, he's Scorpio, you're in cancer element. You're dwelling, you're thinking, you're forming an attachment. Um, you're feeling your way through this attachment, but I'm seeing there's still turbulence. Two towers, murky turbulent water stands in beneath, uh, stands in between these two towers with the moon card. Divine feminine energy here. So I'm thinking there's still nurturing. You still need to nurture a thought, nurture your emotions. Um, there's still some dwelling that needs to happen before you make a decision and love is what I'm seeing. Again, I feel like you need to connect with someone a little bit better. I'm not sure if this is long distance for some of you. If there's been, you know, that middle column did show with the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords, there was a lack of communication or a lack of thorough and expressive communication. So for some of you, this could be why you're feeling apart from someone, why you're not feeling like you're on terms. Um, you know, the same terms with someone, but there is attachments forming. There, there is someone that cares deeply for you, he's Scorpio, or you care deeply for them underneath all that, um, a certain element of recklessness or disparity or, um, you know, whatever it is that's going around you, underneath all those layers is an element of care. It's an element of goodwill. It's an element of nurturing. So there's definitely someone that cares for you and wants to fight for you. Or if this is you, then there's an air sign you want to fight for. Maybe it's a Cancer. Maybe it's an air sign, an Aquarius in particular, that you want to fight for because you believe it's for you. You believe that something ultimate will come out of this, a good relationship, a solid friendship, um, triumph, despite what could be emotional upheavals. Because you know with the Ace of Wands, something is worth the fight. Someone is worth the fight. It's worth trying to communicate to them or trying to extract the words that you want to hear from them. You know, there's something about a fight or needing to, pers uh, to pursue someone's thoughts or someone's words. Um, it could also reflect a new opportunity with someone, yes. I feel for some of you there might be an air sign that's coming out that you never even considered as a lover that actually might outpour and express their emotion to you. But maybe they're fearful as I'm not ready to come forward and you don't know a bit enough about them yet. It's still a little bit mysterious. 
Um, so I think for some of you it may apply that there still needs to be more intel, there still needs to be more time, there still needs to be more emotion, there still needs to be more Aquarian insight, so to speak, before you can grow and learn with this person. For others, I feel like there's a battle coming up in love. Um, I'm not sure if you're separating, if you're divorcing, you're going your separate ways. I am seeing assets and money here, something you've been waiting for here, and there is triumph something to do with time, um, upward motions and improvements. So I feel for some of you that are divorcing or going through some sort of legal fight or entity with someone, I do see that eventually there will be a resolution. You know, that absolutionism that came up with the star card, but maybe towards the end of the month or, um, you know, maybe next month, hopefully sooner rather than later for your sake. But I do feel that there's there's a fire sign here. There's a fire sign that's having victory over you this, this month. I'm not sure if they have a certain thing about them, a certain power or an influence over you here, Scorpio. But there's definitely someone who's heavily dominated by fire, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo, that's coming in around you here um, and having a lot of influence over you. Whether you like it or not, this person is definitely going to be very influential, very important to you. Um... They're going to stand out from all the rest here. So I don't know if some of you are single or you're divorcing. Um, I also feel like a fire sign is going to take the right amount of action to prove to you they're committed as well. And I think this is what's going to really entice you here, Scorpio, that this person will be able to prove themselves, to prove their love. You know, they won't be able to sit still. But I'm also wondering if they can commit for the long term because I do think there's an element of someone not being ready. They care for you. There's no question about that, that they have feelings for you. But I don't think you know enough about them yet or they even know enough about themselves to enter into a committed relationship because they're fire right now. And there's only a little bit of, um, there's only the queen of pentacles that hints at stability from this person. So I still think there's, there's a bit of a fight to get them to commit or to get to know them better and, and really express, make them express how they feel is what I'm seeing here because that may be a bit of a struggle for them. So I hope that resonated with some of you. Let's move on and see what's happening in your career and business. But, you know, it, it's just a waiting game. I feel like it's just a wait that needs to happen. It doesn't mean that it can't happen. It's just you're going to have to be patient. Okay, the Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Okay, wow, some of you are leaving a job or leaving a creative pursuit. Um, I'm not sure, again, if this, if, if this is referring to something you picked up from the past, but I am seeing that with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands energy is capricious energy. You're resistant, you're on guard, you're anticipating something or you're you're not sure about an idea or about a job or about the role that you're in. You've got hesitations and reservations here. And I think as a result of these, some of you Scorpios will be leaving a career or a workplace because A, you might have your own autonomous venture here, you know, the star card, something that you'll start online or on your own. It's, it's craftsmanship, it's creating. So for some of you with the Eight of Pentacles in conjunction with the star, you're, leave, you're starting a pursuit of some kind here. Um, it could involve creative pursuits, assets, money, finances, travel, um, tourism, crafting, um, designing, um, or on whichever medium you work with. But I do see some of you have reservations or there's reservations about a fire sign. Um, there's a fire sign that's making you feel on edge at work this month. An Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Um, the five of cups here, this is the loss. You're reflecting over something that's fallen through. Eventually you'll heal from this. You'll, you'll bounce back here, Scorpio. But there's a project or an idea that will or has been implemented. But it'll actually be retracted for some of you. It'll be taken down. And I feel you've worked hard to gain this. I'm not sure if it's some sort of um, benefits at work or recognition or some sort of bonus scheme. I feel like someone's going to take that away, you know, and there'll be a lot of there'll be a lot of disappointment because of this with the five of cups energy. I do think some of you will be losing people that you work with, maybe employers, um, Maybe people that is in your team, you know, some people could actually resign. I'm not sure if they're feeling this way about you, he's Scorpio. But I do see with the Five of Cups, you do still have support and encouragement behind you with the two. 
um, with the two of cups here which I like so I do think someone is still there by your side and it could be a Pisces I see a Pisces potentially behind you you don't see them yet so they could be brand new you do have a new opportunity that's making its way or a new person that will be making its way to you in the workplace perhaps you don't know them yet or you don't consider them as someone who's quite um, reliable um, or trustworthy, honest, or has integrity, maintains company culture, company standard, etc. But this person is here. Um, a fish out of water. Again, the two of you might not get on very well, um, but I see that they're going to be quite accommodating. They're hardworking. You know, the page of cups is enthusiasm. I think they're passionate about what they do or the workplace, the industry that you're both in, which is nice to see. And I think you'll be surprised. You've got your back turned to them for now. But I think eventually this person is going to uh, make an impact on you in some way, shape or form here. You know, the fish emerges from the... It's almost like there's an assistant. Some of you are getting an assistant of some kind, um, an administration assistant, a personal assistant, um, someone that reports directly to you, someone that will be taking direction from you. Possibly it's someone in a lower, uh, lower role. Um, so you may, you may be in a more senior role, but this person I feel like is very, um, the fish emerges from the cup and, uh, um, from the cup and asks the page what he wants. So it's someone that's asking you what you want. Can he get you anything? How can he or she accommodate you better is what I'm seeing with the page of cups energy. For some of you, there's a travel opportunity coming up in regards to work. Um, and it's to deal with a client that's been a little bit imbalanced or hasn't been very consistent or hasn't been making you money, the company money. I see these travel opportunities could lead you to destined opportunities and destined meetings. So if one arises, it would probably be best to take it because you never know who you're going to meet. Um, it's also a good money making opportunity because you're facing money with the eight of pentacles. And this is good money. But it's money that you're going to have to work hard for. So I'm not sure if this client has been proving to be very testing. Um, I'm not sure if there's someone you have to travel out to to train maybe because it's someone that's been imbalanced, underperforming, imbalanced. Maybe they haven't been there for enough time. They didn't get enough time in regards to training. This is something you might have to do for them into uh, with career. But the Six of Swords could possibly be travel opportunities, traveling abroad or leaving behind a company. It's the notion of movement elsewhere. I do see someone else with you though. It could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because they do rule the swords. Next card over is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles energy is bringing in abundance through your own crafts, through your own labor, or through your own talent. So I am seeing a possible autonomous venture for some of you that could serve as a second income because you do have two cups behind you here, so two sources of income, maybe. Um, it's something that could potentially bring you a lot of money. You might not see it now, but it's got the ability to bring you more money. Um, and it could be possibly a joint venture with an earth sign. You do have the queen of pentacles here. So a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. He's Scorpio. So this could be the case for some of you. Um, if it is, I feel like this person is very level headed. They're very good with money, finance, budgets, overheads, profit margins. This person is very money savvy or has a lot of business acumen, which earth signs tend to have. They're often, le they're often in leadership roles because of this ability. Virgo, because they're very analytical. And they take a very analytical and logical approach to their, their work, their work ethic. Uh, Capricorns are very level-headed, very pragmatic. They collect all the sources of information. They weigh up the pros and the cons. Um, they try to look for the strengths in every situation here. And Taurus, because they're just, um, they're very good leaders. They can be quite nurturing um, and they're very good with money or, or looking into saving money, um, budgets and finances, um, um, and things like this. So this is some of you may be working with this person here. Or you're working on your skills. This is possibly elevation here in terms of a journey of higher learning. There's the journey and there's the, the, the higher learning. So adding to your degree or receiving some sort of accreditation or money, either through a pay rise or through a new opportunity altogether. Four of Cups is illumination and new opportunities that make its way to you, potential that have that can change the course of destiny. So this is you sitting at the tree of life. This is not minor changes. This would be a major career change for some of you. It's destined to be. It's closely more aligned to your um, to your passions. And it's something you've thought about doing before. But the Wheel of Fortune, the universe, the gods, the angels is sending you this work or this role or this opportunity here. So that's quite quite lucrative and quite exciting here, Scorpio. But look, I will leave it at that. I do hope this reading has been insightful for you. Thank you so much.